Hey, piggy people. So I'm going to be cleaning out the piggies. So I'm going to start with the herd's cage. And first thing I like to do is take out all their beds and their tunnels and everything like that and kind of herd them over to this area so that I can clean this area. So I clean the piggies out fully twice a week. So I do Monday nights and Friday nights. And today is a Monday. I also on cage cleaning nights will do uh, health checks or nail clippings as needed. I don't think anybody needs their nails clipped tonight. So I will do a nail clipping video next time somebody does need their nails clipped. What are you talking about, Hucky? Hi, Reese Beer. What's up, buddy? He's always talking. <laughs> wow, a couple little wiggles from Reese, almost like a popcorn. Oops. So underneath the fleece here, I have, uh, this is vet bed. I've done videos on vet bed if you guys want to check those out. You just would have to type in the search bar skinny pigs one vet bed and I'm sure the video will come up about it and why I use it. Hi Velvie. Hi sweetie girl. So Velvet's abscess spot has been closed for one week. And her neck has stayed completely smooth, so fingers crossed it is healed. She goes to get her teeth checked next week, so that'll be a two-week mark for when her neck healed. So let's hope at her dental check the vet agrees that her neck is all good. I think little baby's hiding. Hi, Data. Where'd you go? Hi, Sadie. Hi, Ada. Hi, baby. She's not a baby anymore. She's so big. She's a big piggy. So Veda's, I think, like eight months old now. Everybody always asks where I get these pellet dishes. Those were from Rosewood. Rosewood double ceramic dish. So you'd probably just have to type that into Google and see where it shows up. Oops. So just got to take out their logs and then we're going to go find some fleece. I see these. Okay, so I always pick up velvet on cage cleaning nights just to check her feet and her little bum. Hey, sweetie. Good girl. Here we go. Hey, sweetheart. How are you? How's your neck feel? You doing good? Okay, so one thing Velvet gets is her hair, like, curls in. So I will cut it for her. We have these scissors that are rounded. So what I do is hold my hand here and then cut. And a little, is that a whisker? Oh. 
There we go. Good girl. And we'll do the other side. Because otherwise her hair touches her eye and it bugs her. Is that good? You good? Okay. Hey girl. Um, her bum hair I do clip as well, like back here, so it doesn't uh, curl under and get dirty. But it looks good for now. Now this is a big thing of coconut oil, so I get some, just a tiny bit on a pad here, and just tidy her bum quick. There's hardly anything on there. I don't know why, but sometimes she gets a tiny bit of poop stuck just on the corners. So I just like to make sure I keep it tidy. And then I put a little bit of coconut oil on the back of her, well I guess not the back of, the bottom of her back feet. Just rub that in. Yeah, we are good to go, aren't we Miss Velvie? You're such a beautiful girl. Yes you are. Good job sweetheart. Ready to go up? Here we go. There we go. Good girl. I'm not going to pick you up. Hi, baby. Look at this baby pig. Look at you. You're so beautiful and big. Ain't you a big girl, Veda? You're a huge piggy. Yes, you are. All right, that's really all the checks I have to do. Everybody is good for tonight. So we're going to be putting the piggies on the otter fleece. This is one of my favorite prints. And every once in a while I have to give this a, like a vacuum up, but I'm not going to do it tonight because it's too annoying while I'm filming. You guys gonna everybody over let's go let's go everybody over baby you can do it good girl awesome we're gonna, we're gonna save this because it still looks good I think the rest is mixed in with a lot of poop. Ah, there's a whole branch. Hm. We'll get rid of that. So these are our hay boxes. The link's in the description box where I bought these from. They're really nice to store some extra hay. I always have hay in them and I always do hay piles too. But it's nice to have the backup with the hay boxes in case they soil a bunch of the hay on the ground. Like piggies always do. So this section I've been keeping is like their hay area and trying to keep that place for just like beds and tunnels. Kind of helps keep the mess contained to one section. 
And if you're wondering, like I said, I can vacuum the vet bed and it can get washed. I'm just not doing it this time because it's too time consuming to do for a cage cleaning night I'm filming. And I hope you guys don't think I sound really annoying with my respirator. It might sound weird or heavy for my breathing because talking through it seems really difficult. Are you gonna go across? Sometimes they won't cross when there's like a little gap. Where are you going, Reesey Bear? Oh, and Hucky? And Baby? What about you, Velvy? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go see her? Reason's holding up the line. There you go. You can do it, sweetheart. Good girl. Okay. So these boot racks, there's vegetable stains on top of here. I have to wash them. But they're just a hard plastic. They're called a utility shelf. They were from Walmart. I just bought them online and they were like $7. And they make a great little hide. So the herd mostly likes to sleep in or on beds that are like the couches and the cuddle cup type beds. So we got a bunch of those. Did you guys see our name signs? So Angie sent us these. All right. So back here is where Raisin likes to sleep. There's a little Ray. Can you guys believe that Raisin's going to be five at the end of the year? I find it crazy because she just seems like a little baby to me still. Hi, Belly. Oh, we have more tunnels here that I didn't realize. I don't know if we need more. We will go like this. And like this. Okay, so this cage has Busby, Autumn, and Annie. Everybody is good friends and I'm so thankful. Sometimes I forget how lucky I am that these three are getting along so well so that I don't have to worry about anybody being lonely. So Busby, uh, the male over there, he's neutered. I'm pretty sure he has crummy vision. So some of the stuff that he does, like when he first got here, he used to actually smack into the side of the walls when he was running around. It took him a bit to get used to. So I think that's a sign that he has bad vision. He's also impossible to hand a treat to because like he keeps looking everywhere else but what you have in your hand. So I don't think he can see that great. And he also gets startled super easy and kind of like over dramatically if you know what I mean sometimes just the slightest motion he like absolutely freaks out and it just kind of seems like a little bit too dramatic and there's lots of times where if he's left his treat somewhere he's literally like doing circles and sniffing all around trying to find it where any other pig like visually sees it and goes and gets it so it just seems like he doesn't have the best vision and I think I've mentioned before but his eyes are the smallest pig eyes that I have seen like they're like probably half the size of everybody else's so but regardless he does well 
it's just he's taking quite a long time to get used to you know me reaching in the cage and stuff I don't know if he'll ever be used to that He's such a pretty color though. He's got like a lemony, I don't know, kind of beige-ish color. And then he goes into a bit of white and then into this uh, almost a lilac color like Veda, but just a little bit more, I don't know, creamy colored into it. But he's so gorgeous. I just love his colors. He's just the cutest little guy. Okay. A lot of our hay lately is quite brown and yucky. I've seen a lot of people complain about hay not being great right now this time of year, which sucks. Okay, I have to go get their fleece. So these guys don't care. They like to walk across the vet bed. Where the herds cage, they always stay off of it, which is funny. And I hope you guys can hear me okay. I honestly feel like I sound like Bane from the Dark Knight. So hopefully it's not like that. I'm trying to talk loud as I can. This is our pile to shake into the garbage after. Normally I do that as I take a liner out, but for filming, I don't want to keep stopping and doing this and it's boring. So these piggies are going to go on some flowers and some bumblebees. What do you guys think? Hi, Autumn. Hi, sweetie. Look how big you are compared to Annie. If I put this down, you're kind of in the way. Thank you. Hi, little guys. Look at you go. You're doing so good, buddy. You're so adorable. So after I clean out the pigs, the next thing I do is check their water and fill up their pellets. I usually do pellets at night, so I give them pellets at night and however long that lasts them, I just wait till the dish is basically empty and then refill it. I give them roughly an eighth of a cup per pig, but when you have more than one pig, you never know who eats the majority of it. So I always try to make sure there's some in there, but not like too crazy. Sometimes that happens. The microfiber cloth gets stuck on the fleece when they've been in the washing machine. So for the pellets, we're using the Oxbow Garden Select. And so far, so good. Everybody enjoys it. I kind of gave up on worrying about pellets like crazy because we had so many issues while we were using other pellets that it just made me believe that obviously to some degree it doesn't matter to get that crazy about spending the money on the really expensive stuff that we were doing. But obviously I still picked the next pellets that I really like the ingredients of. Because there's still tons of pellets out there that 
I would go pelletless before I ever fed them. Okay, so we got some gaps here. Some liners aren't quite as long as the others. So I've got to put a couple pads to fill those gaps there. So I like to make sure all the vet bed is covered because preferably I don't want to have to wash it too often. And since these liners are so thick and don't leak through, I don't have to wash it too crazy often. So I don't want them peeing on the vet bed. Hi, Reese. Hi, girls. So these guys enjoy couches over here. Usually it's uh, Buzz and Autumn that like the couches. Annie on her heat pad. I always put these type of beds, the snuggly ones. So there is a huge heat pad that's over there that's underneath the fleece for Annie's sake so that she can be nice and warm. All the pigs do like sleeping over there obviously because it's nice and snuggly but I like to have it that way so that I know that Annie is always staying warm. shake this out there's hay everywhere so I've got waters to fill pellets to do but everybody is done love you guys love you guys too okay bye bye piggy people we'll see you next time if you like watching guinea pig videos learning how to care for us seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!